forever since I last vlogged and I've really actually kind of missed it. I've been doing like a lot of hauls on here. I've started my styling series in case you missed that. I'll link it on the screen or down below. But yeah, I feel like I haven't kind of been updating you on my day-to-day -day life. Probably because it's not been too exciting to be honest. But it is Monday today I'm picking up the camera. So this morning I've just kind of been doing some campaigns at home, filming for that, hence why my face has now got makeup on. So I'm sure if you follow me over on Instagram you'll see that posted real soon. And obviously I have put the new prints up from Desenio. Now I do have a code from Desenio, so I'll put it on the screen and I'll also link it down below where you can get a discount off. Now I've done many videos on here and spoke about Desenio before. I love their prints and I have gone for this kind of like Matisse style print. I'll kind of show you properly in a minute. And I've also updated some prints over there. So I've been doing that this morning and filming. So it's all been kind of go. And also I've got my new office chair. So this is from Six the Resident. So this is from Six the Resident. So I've been loving this. I'm gonna show you properly the prints and the chair. But I thought I'd just kind of give you an intro on what this vlog is going to be. So I need to go shoot this afternoon because the weather forecast is saying that it's only going to be kind of good weather today. So I'm dragging Chris along with me and going to go shoot some new outfits, which I always love doing. So I love kind of like styling outfits, put them together. So I'll kind of show you how I do that because I'm just starting to put some outfits together now. And then I've also got like the supermarket shop coming later this afternoon, thrilling, I know. And then tomorrow I'm going for my first laser appointment. So I'm gonna bring you guys along with me on that so you can kind of see how it goes. But yeah, I feel like there's a few things going on this week so I thought I'd pick up the camera vlog and take you along with me. So let's show you these prints. Like I said, I kind of went for this Matisse style and I did pick quite a few just so I can kind of mix and match them and see how they'll look together. Although on the website you can actually do this, you can create a gallery art wall and it is so good for kind of visualising everything before and you can obviously put the size of the prints together, you can put which frames you want with them. I feel like that is just such a good thing that the Desenio do because I feel like sometimes you just need to see it visually on a wall. So the fact that they do their own gallery art wall on there which you can build really helped me. Although even though I picked a few, I went with these three in the end as you can see. So it's kind of like this art deco Matisse vibe going on. And I felt like these obviously go with each other, like they pair with each other with the size dimension of them with cutting off here at the bottom and they're both obviously kind of around lines. And then I love this middle print one. I just think it's such a vibe at the minute. I'm very kind of into this. And then this also kind of matches in the theme with my new office chair. So this is it, it's from Six the Residence. It has this cushion on it at the minute, but you can just take it off. So it's this rattan one. And I was kind of um and ah and if to go with the black and cream or this one, but I'm really actually glad I went with this one because I was gonna get the black frames to go around these pictures, but I kept them with the original ones with the white ones in the end. And I feel like it kind of works because the ones up here, I got the black frames for. So these are actually new. I don't know if I'm going to keep it like this. I've just been kind of playing around. So again, this is the Matisse one up here, which I really love. Sorry, it's got the reflection behind it. And then I always kind of go for a quote when I get Desenio prints, just because I like, I'm very into my quotes. And this one I feel like kind of resonates with me. Accept what is, let go of what was, and have faith in what will be. Just kind of like not living in the past and just kind of accepting the future really. So very cliche, but I liked this little quote. So I'm just having a little play around up here with how to put the prints. But yeah, these are the black frames. And then I originally had the white ones before. You guys obviously saw in the clip, the camera did die though, when we were taking them off. So they're actually put on with these command strips. So I'll show you how to do them. So these are the command strips. However, we already obviously had them on the wall from the prints before. So you literally just take them off and it's kind of like a Velcro and then you can just put them back on. So when you want to change up your print or anything like that, it's so much easier. And these obviously don't um, damage the wall because we're obviously renting the place. So I feel like these are just good. Even if I wasn't, I feel like I'd use these anyway because like I said, you can just take them off, put them back on with a Velcro and it works perfectly. So I'm really happy with these. 
I thought I'd just kind of show you how I put my outfits together. So for instance, I don't know why, I always just hang them here on the wardrobe because I can kind of like line them up and see. So I always just layer, obviously now we're going into autumn. So I've got this jumper dress from Topshop. This was actually featured in my Staples haul and my trench coat, which I can layer over the top, which this is actually what I had on earlier. I've already swapped into my pajamas and then I will put them with these cream boots. I always kind of keep the outfit to like a similar kind of color palette and quite neutral at the minute with it being autumn. And then this is actually new in from Zara. This was also in my Staples haul. And then I'm going to put this with a black body and black bottoms. So again, kind of like tying in the same colour palette. So these are the leather trousers matching with the kind of leather feel of the jacket. And then I think I'm going to put some black chunky boots with them. So let's have a look. So annoying. I lost this little um, handle. So I think I'm going to go with these chunky boots actually. These are actually new from ASOS. I'm trying to wear them in because I've worn them twice and they've actually really kind of blistered me. So I'm hoping the more I wear them, the more like my feet will just get comfortable with them. So that's two outfits set. And then I'm actually waiting for my Zara order to come. It says it's gonna come hopefully within the next hour. And then I have some new pieces from that that I'm gonna style up with this coat. This is a new checked jacket. Also with styling my outfits, I always have my new in things on this rail. So it's really kind of easy for me to go here and sort of visualize everything and see what's new in and how I can style it up. So this has been sat on the rail and I definitely want to wear it. I'm not sure what's underneath that. I think I was kind of playing with outfits, but I'm just going to wear this like plaid, um, it's kind of like a jacket. It's not like a really thick jacket with maybe the cream jumper dress so I can like layer this in a different way with this and then I've got these like green kind of Wellington boots coming. They aren't very on trend but I've been like um and an enough to get them from Zara so once they come I'll show you. So I just find it easier to kind of line it all like this and then I can see it visually to sort of know what I'm shooting. So oh, my Zara orders have arrived. I honestly feel like it's always Christmas day when your Zara orders come. Just love it. So I've got two big boxes here because one is the shoes and one is the clothes. So I'll first show you the boots. I've already opened them. Obviously I got too excited so I'll show you what they are. Okay so in here we have these boots and I've been kind of like um and an R and if to get these for a while but I'm so glad I have. I absolutely love them. They're such a vibe. So it's this kind of like welly vibe that's going on at the minute. And I thought these would actually be pretty practical for walking Bailey in as well. So you know, fashion and being practical as well. Website, I think they're called like rubber boots, but they definitely have this welly vibe to them. Absolutely love them. And I'm pretty sure they were like, oh, the tag's not on here. I think they're around 50 pound. So I'm gonna wear these in today and style them with some of my outfits that I was showing you because I feel like these are gonna go perfect with that flannel jacket. So really happy about these and I got them true to size, so I got them in a size five. I have tried them on and I'll show you them on with some of the outfits that I got as well. And then in here, it's a little bit messy, like I said, I have already opened it because obviously I got too excited. I got this blazer and I feel like I always kind of invest in a blazer from Zara every year. Although they're not really on like the crazy pricey side. I think it was around 40, 50 pound. Um, but absolutely love Zara blazers. I did feature them in my Staples video, a cream one and a black one I got last year. And this is this kind of like dark khaki colour with the darker like tortoisey shell buttons so I got it in an extra small and a small it did say oversized online but I just wanted to kind of get both sizes to check so we'll try them on and see which one fits better and then I also got this kind of like rust color jumper dress because you just can't go wrong with jumper dresses especially for autumn and this color is just so on with like the fall season right now so this is a nice chunky knit dress this is the one in the size small. Oh, here we go, it was 59 pounds to 60 pound. Um, so I'll try them on. And then I have this body in black, nude, white. I just wear it with everything. So I saw that they've brought this new colorway out, which is this kind of khaki green again. As you can see, I'm loving this color at the minute. So yeah, I'm pretty sure I don't need to try this on because I've got them anyway in the same size, which is a size small and they always fit great. Okay, so this is the blazer in the size extra small and it's made me realize I definitely don't need the small because as you can see, this is really kind of 
oversized as it is and the um, arms are quite long so I've just rolled this one up to see how it will look but I just love this blazer it's so like thick good quality this is definitely going to kind of like see me through and I know I'll wear this a lot and then I've just put it on with these welly boots I absolutely love them they're such a vibe and it's super comfy I feel like I won't need to kind of wear them in I feel like they're just kind of loose anyway around here like they've got a good gap here with my leg which I love because I hate sometimes when it's super tight so absolutely love this okay so this is the small I've just tried it on to kind of show you guys the difference in sizing there's a little bit in it here with the shoulders I feel like it comes out a bit more obviously the sleeves are just so long on me and then maybe a little bit longer in the length but I definitely just think the extra small fits me way better than this one so I'm definitely gonna return this as it just comes really oversized anyway and then this is the jumper dress on. I got it in the size small and I'm just thinking that maybe I do need the extra small just because I feel like it's maybe a little bit long. I'm not sure, but I do obviously like it a little bit oversized anyway and just to kind of have it loose. I think it would look great with about here on the middle, maybe like a black one or something. But I actually really like it with these boots as well. I feel like it works well, kind of like the car key and then the rust. Definitely in line with fall but yeah it's just super comfy big oversized knit dress and like I said in my staple video you just need a knit dress in your wardrobe they're just so easy to whack on wear and you can style them in so many different ways I had my hair up in a clip hence why it's gone a little bit wild but I'm just straight in my pajamas I feel like I've got deodorant marks on this from where I've just put it on these are little Primark little number that I've got on. I love Primark PJs. I don't know what it is about them. I just find them so comfortable. But I'm going to go take my makeup off, take, put my hair up. This is literally like the favourite part of my day. And just kind of chill out. But before I do, I need to edit a video. So I'm going to have a bit of a working night and cook some dinner. But it's not too extravagant tonight. I think we're just doing like fish and salad. So I'll show you what we have, but I'm not cooking anything too fancy. So Chris is currently uploading a post on... Bailey's behalf and we were just laughing like saying that he actually has no say in his Instagram. I don't post on Bailey's Instagram feed. Yeah you do. No I don't. You are the face behind it. We haven't posted in a while have we? Should we put your tag on the screen so people can follow you and keep up to date? He's looking so cute at the minute. He had a groom like two weeks ago and I feel like he's always perfect after it. Like he just grows out a little bit so he's just a fluffy little teddy bear. You ready for your dinner? Huh? You want your dinner? So this is the post that just went live. Say the caption, where is it? If it focuses. It's been a hard Monday, but I'm staying positive. Are you happy with yourself? I'm pretty happy, yeah. <laughs> I'm having to bend down so you can see me in the camera. I feel really weird because I've taken my earrings out because I had my hoops in earlier and I've never taken them out like for since I got them. They're from Tardo and Toy. I'll show you probably tomorrow when I put them back in but I feel like I look naked without them. Just going in with the Elemis Pro Collagen Balm. If you follow me on here for a while you know this is like my hero product. It's just the best for taking your makeup off. I feel like I look really weird like bending down. Maybe I should just come down here. This works better. <laughs> Although I look so miniature. So you literally just put it on like this. Let's put it over my lips and just massage basically your makeup off now i used to religiously use makeup wipes and oh my god i feel like my life changed after i started using this cleansing balm it just works so much better and it's so much more moisturizing and just better for your skin i feel like with makeup wipes i don't know i just feel like it doesn't properly remove it oh but it smells so good as well this is the neroli one but i feel like it was limited edition but if i don't have this i always use the rose one which is amazing it comes in like a little pink tub as you can see it is just melting away even my eye makeup as well so i feel like i always have to double cleanse i do have a little bit of eye makeup i feel like i still got on so i'm just going in with the foreo cleanser again another hero product hero product of mine obsessed with this use it morning night religiously use it it also lasts for ages as well the battery life i only just recharged it after like two months and i use it day and night and then i'm using the soy facial cleanser i have like a massive tub of this i just love it it's just so gentle on your skin so i'm just going in with this 
and double cleansing and I usually kind of go like inwards and work out and like push up it just kind of drains all the puffiness out of your face is what I find So now I have double cleansed, my skin feels just like as soft as a baby's bum. It just feels honestly really kind of moisturised, like I find sometimes with cleansers afterwards your skin can just feel really dry and I wouldn't really say I have like combination skin but my skin is just kind of like normal slash dry so I do have to put obviously a lot of moisturiser on and especially coming into the colder months but it feels just so clean and fresh but I'm now going to go in with the Elemis dynamic resurfacing pads i use this a few times a week you can either use it morning or night use the one and i feel like this just has been really helping with the pigmentation in my skin and my pigmentation isn't too bad it's been getting a lot better i've been seeing dr nina um for aqua gold facial recently which really helped with it but i always just kind of want to keep on top of it so I feel like these little pads do the work and as you can see there's like nothing that's come off that so it shows that my skin is squeaky clean and then I'm just going to use one of these Elizabeth Arden retinal night capsules as you can see you get like quite a good amount in them these are so good I have the vitamin C ones and I love them but I've just run out so I'm going to go in with this retinal one Again, sometimes I mix in the Tan Lux Super Glow in with my moisturiser. I just love this product. It's so good for a face tan. But I'm just going to go in now with the Elemis Plumping Pillow Facial. If you can see me, I'm having to bend down every time. This just smells so good. I swear it has lavender in. I just find it so calming and cooling. So, Sandra Pay kindly sent me a top up. I'm not sure if it's focusing this is the purity face mist it's so good and it smells like a tropical dream i love it so i just do a mist of that at night if i don't use the super glow and that is my skincare done well i feel like it looks really pale in that light but i'm gonna go make some dinner now and chill out for the rest of the evening <laughs> change but I've got my new boots on from the order that I got from Zara and I'm just wearing in it wearing them in so far they've actually been pretty comfy because when I've been putting all my boots on this year they just always rub straight away so fingers crossed literally my favorite thing coming home and look he sits and wags his tail like this hi baby boy what have you done to your bed he just seems to be pulling his bed apart like this all the time so I have ordered him a new one I've ordered him a new wicker basket, which should hopefully arrive. Hi! Hi, happy boy! Mommy home! Let's take the gate away. Hi, baby! Hi! Hi, munchkin! Hi! 
Is your bed everywhere? Hi. Happy. Crazy. Crazy. <laughs> Good morning, guys. So today is the day that I'm having my laser and I'm getting it on my underarms and my bikini area. So I'll take you guys with me. I'm having it done at a clinic in Harley Street. So I will leave the details down below. Now I had laser. It must have been like two or three years ago. It was in the town that I used to live. And obviously when I moved, I didn't carry on the sessions. I must have had like two sessions. So it never really was like the full, obviously, effect. So I'm starting again today at another clinic and I'm really hoping it doesn't hurt. I'm hoping it'll all be okay. So when I went for my patch test, she was like, make sure you wear comfy wear. So I'll show you my little outfit that I'm gonna go in because I feel like comfort is key today. I'm just wearing this tracksuit. It's actually old from Zara. I got it last year and I wore it to death. I feel like I need to give it a little bit of a steam though. It's got some creases in it from when I've got it out of the drawer, but it's just so comfy and cozy. And then I've paired it with Janelle trainers. Love these. So I've gone for a very kind of like cream, white, cozy look and as I said she said wear comfy wear so I've gone with the memo and I'm definitely enjoying it I feel like I've kind of been dressing up a lot recently in different outfits and like boots and stuff so it's nice just kind of put on a tracksuit and trainers and then I'm going to run some errands in central as well so I'll take you along with me and fingers crossed this all goes okay so I've just finished up I literally got here at um 1 15 and it is 22 so it was so quick and easy honestly i can't even tell you how painless it was i was a bit like worried like if it was going to be painful because last time i had it i did find it quite painful she was doing it and i was like this is actually quite relaxing like it was absolutely fine so i have no worries about the other sessions i'm actually really excited for the results of it so I just feel like it's a weight kind of lifted that it just didn't hurt it was just really relaxing easy and it was done so quick like both areas in the matter of like 20 minutes or so so really kind of pleased with that I was honestly in and out so quick then and I'm generally shocked at the fact it didn't hurt and I can honestly say it was just pain-free um, so yeah really happy with that I'm gonna head back now I've got some errands to run I'm going to edit this vlog upload it so I thought I would leave it off here because I've got a busy rest of the day, I've got some work to do, I've got a meeting later and then going for dinner with the girls. So I hope you enjoyed this vlog and kind of see what I've been getting up to the past few days and I will keep continuing to share sort of my laser treatment and how it's all going.